Hey beautiful people, it's Minsko here. When it comes to podcasting, I spend around 15 to 30 minutes every single morning listening to a podcast. 7 a.m., I'm out the door, getting some fresh air, going for a walk around the block, and I immerse myself into a podcast. Reason being is because I wanna start the day right, I wanna make sure I have the right mindset, I'm learning something new, and I get to start the day right. That's the main purpose. So, let's get right into it. So, as you can see here, I have a number of podcasts, and you might realize, Really, none of these are really about design except for the Envision app, Design Better Podcast. Oh, and by the way, if you do appreciate these videos, make sure to gently smash that like button because your hard work is actually making an impact. My channel is growing and there's at least 50 to 200 people watching my videos every single hour of the day. That is insane. I appreciate it so much, guys. So make sure to gently smash that like button if you enjoy it. Let's get back into the video. As a designer, if you keep yourself within a bubble and all you listen to is about design, latest design trends, accessibility, UX frameworks, then you're not really broadening yourself and you're not really helping yourself grow because you're limiting yourself and you're living in a bubble which only designers think about. So the reason that I have podcasts all about uh, business, uh, marketing, distribution, product management, social media, is because as a designer, to become extremely valuable and to become very impactful, you need to learn a lot more and you need to broaden your perspectives so you can see a product challenge from all different lenses. So as a designer, if you understand marketing and distribution, how do you get the product out there? And then you also understand from a product management point of view, how do you meet business outcomes? And then you also see it from a design point of view, how do you actually craft the experience so you can retain and engage the user? you are bound to be an extremely valuable designer. So, my top three. The first one is Indie Hackers, and I've been listening to this one every single day for the last couple of months. And the reason why is because I've really taken a big step away from the agency land that I've been working on for the last decade, and I wanna build my very first startup. And being able to listen to how other indie hackers, sort of solo entrepreneurs all around the world, working to build on a side hustle and build up their own startup, really adds a little bit more inspiration, motivation, but I also get to learn sort of the struggles that they go through and how they're able to overcome it. Cortland Allen is a great host as well. He really knows how to break down the podcast, keep it really concise and really to the point. And I love the fact that they edit it and they trim it so well that it doesn't feel like there's any fluff at all. So if you're a designer that really wants to get into a podcast where they talk about the challenges, the struggles, and how they're able to overcome a lot of product challenges, not just from a design point of view, but more of a product and business point of view, Indie Hackers is hands down one of the best ones. Then we have Noah Kagan Presents. So Noah Kagan, if you haven't heard of him, he runs, he's the founder and CEO of sumo.com. It is a marketplace to help anyone around the world get really good deals on tech apps. Now he is also a former employee of Mint.com, Facebook, and a few other good, great startups. And he is a very, very good marketer. And he has a really good understanding of marketing and distribution, how to gain traction, how to grow your business, how to design really good experiences from a marketing and very engaging point of view. So the reason why I like Noah Kagan is because he's just got a really good personality, really relatable, and he's just no BS. He just gets right to the point, and I love that about him. So he talks everything about how to grow a YouTube channel, he talks about marketing, he talks about angel investing, he has lessons from Twitch founder Justin Can, so he actually interviews them as well. I haven't been listening to Noah Kagan as of lately, mainly because I'm at that point where I'm trying to start my own startup and Indie Hackers is probably the more relevant one as well. Also, the third one and the one that I really think, think is very, very advantageous for designers is Masters of Scale by Reid Hoffman. So Reid Hoffman is the founder of LinkedIn and he is also the author of Blitzscaling. So if you haven't heard about Blitzscaling, there is a book and I've left a link in the description below about it. It really talks about how US startups, especially in the Valley, they really go down the approach of Blitzscaling. And what that means is that they will take on a lot of venture capital and a lot of costs up front so they can scale their startups really quickly. And then once they've got scale, they'll think about how to work the unit economics and how they become profitable. So it's a very different approach to how the standard and traditional business works. As a traditional business, you want to start small, you want to build momentum slowly, you want to build profitability as soon as possible, and then you utilize that capital to reinvest into the business to start growing. So with Blitzscaling, they talk about how you can grow really quickly, how you need to think about billions instead of millions, 
and then you start to think about how to create profitability afterwards. So he has a very unique take on startups and business and scale. And this is where learning and understanding marketing and distribution as a designer can come very handy because when you're designing experiences, you're gonna to start to think about, okay, if I launch this experience, how do we actually get it into the hands of people? What are those viral loops? How do we keep them engaged? How do we get people telling other people about it? And that is what will make you very, very valuable. So he does a lot of different podcasts with a lot of different people. And the great thing is he does it in a very unique and storytelling method. So once you listen to one of his podcasts, you can see that he's broken it down in a very unique way. He's adopted a very unique take on storytelling and it's not like the typical standard podcast interview. So he talks about personal branding. He really interviews and brings on a lot of great and reputable people, just like uh, Bob Iger's former CEO um, of Disney. And they talk about user acquisition and they talk about products and businesses in general. So like I said, there are also a few other podcasts that I have listened to in the past. I haven't really spent as much time listening to those ones. So my top three for you is Indie Hackers, Masters of Scale by Reid Hoffman, and Noah Kagan Presents. And once again, I want to iterate, as a designer, it is great to learn about UI and UX design and to really master it. But if you really wanna excel and you really wanna grow and become extremely valuable, you need to become a bit of that unicorn where you can see a product from all different angles. You can see it from the experience and making it engaging and delightful. You can see it from marketing and distribution channels. So how do we actually get it out there? How do we get it more viral? And then you see it from a business point of view. How do we help the business make more money while also delivering value to the customer as well? And that is why I've also been able to become quite successful as a UX designer is because I've got a genuine passion in all these different aspects. And whenever I get thrown into the deep end in just creating an experience, I right away, I start to think about all three different pillars of what makes a successful product. Distribution, product, and also the design. All right guys, hopefully you guys found this extremely useful and let me know in the comments, are there any other podcasts that you enjoy? And I would love to hear them because I would love to add some more ammunition to my very own inventory. All right guys, I'll see you in another video very soon.